guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Howard. And I'm Andrea. And we're with Food Entry Adventures in Food. And we are here today with a taste test from Trader Joe's. I went there recently, picked up some new items, and thought you guys might wanna see how they taste. So we are gonna jump in. I will say we do have an 11 month old baby and he is behind us playing, so you may hear him from time to time. You probably will hear him from time to time. So we're gonna jump in. The first thing that we are going to try are these um, French onion soup bites with caramelized onions and Swiss cheese. And I bake them according to the package directions. You bake them for about 20, for 22 to 26 minutes in the oven. And Howard is showing you what they look like. Looks good to me. Yeah, that one kind of flattened out a little bit, um, but it's kind of like a, like a, a cup. yeah, it's a cup. It's like a puff pastry kind of dough, I think. So you ready? Cheers. Cheers. I taste the onions. Mm -hmm. I, I actually like it. I don't think I like it. So. Reminds me of French onion soup. It does, it, I mean, you know, it, it's a French onion soup bite, so it does taste like French onion. Definitely a lot of caramelized onions, and I guess maybe I don't like caramelized onions as much as I thought. Oh, they're sweet. Yeah, they're very sweet. Um, I mean, it's not bad. Would I buy, would you buy it again? I would, I, I like it. Yeah, so if you like it, if you really like French onion soup, then this Which is I for do. you. Yeah, then it <laughs> tastes just like it. Um, next thing, I got these for Howard because he is a corn fanatic. These are called Hold the Corn Appetizers, <laughs> and they kind of look like a um, Triscuit. Oh yeah, I didn't notice that on the, the outside. Mm -hmm. It's like a little ice cream cone to me. Yeah, and it says netted rice cones filled with a savory combination of sweet corn and vegetables. Some of the vegetables are, um, it actually has green onions, coconut, water chestnuts, mushrooms, etc., etc. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, cheers. cheers. Mm. There's the flavor I'm tasting. I don't like the texture of the cones because they're kind of chewy. Um, there's something in there that tastes green. Well, there's green onions and lemongrass, Lemon cilantro, grass. and there's and cilantro. cilantro. And you don't really like. Um, I don't like cilantro too much. And I don't that's really probably, like. Just taking it away for you. That's probably what I taste the cilantro. I like cilantro, but I don't like water chestnuts, and there's some pretty big hunks in here. But I mean, I like the flavor of it, but I don't like the texture of this cone. Would you buy it again? Uh, because of the cilantro, no, but it wasn't that bad for me. I don't like that texture, but and I don't know. Did you see the inside? I did show. You did show? Oh, yes. All right. So the next thing that we have. Um, wash that down. Yeah. <laughs> is this sugar pump plum um, sparkling beverage. It says plum and white grape juices. Uh, and this is just a seasonal item. And so I already poured some juice for us. Shot. Cheers. Cheers. What do you think? So I taste the sparkling stuff. I can't say I taste plum over mm -hmm. um, Say, there's a grape in there? Um, white grape? White grape and plum. Okay, the plum must be hiding somewhere, but it's a hint of plum with some white grape. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't taste any different than any other sparkling juice that I've had. Cause I was afraid, I was telling Howard, I was like, I hope this isn't prune juice and they're just calling <laughs> it plum juice, but it doesn't taste like plum no. or prunes. It just tastes nope. like a regular sparkling. Sparkling with a mild, mild flavor of something. Oh, yeah, would you buy it again? I would skip it, but I know you're more of a sparkling person than I am. Yeah, I probably wouldn't buy it again. Eh, nothing special. Okay, you want to go next? Okay, next up, we have cashews. They're um, caramel coffee cashews. I know you don't like cashew, you don't like coffee. Mm -mm. This is all me here. Yeah, because he loves cashews. And coffee. And he loves coffee. Not too big on the caramel, though. I love caramel. Okay, this is what they look like. They don't look bad. I got one here. Okay. I don't smell any 
Do you smell anything? Coffee or yeah. caramel, a little bit. A little coffee. Cheers. Hit the coffee. I do taste the coffee. There's that little coffee bitterness. Mm-hmm. I, I wish I liked, but uh, I'm not sure you'd like this at all. For one, you don't like cashew, you don't like coffee. Mm -hmm. No. I don't mind it. No, it, um, you definitely, if you don't drink, if you're like me and you don't drink coffee, you'll definitely taste the coffee. I don't particularly care for these, but I do like coffee candy, because um, mm. coffee candy is kind of like creamy. Okay. But this is not, doesn't have that creamy taste. It does taste like coffee and it has that bitterness to it. So I probably wouldn't buy it again, would you? Uh, I wouldn't, because I prefer uh, cashews as plain with uh, maybe salted, roasted. Okay. And what's up next? This is English toffee something. English toffee bites. Bites. So they had, these, this is like a small sample pack, but then they also had the like a larger tin of these toffees. And I think it's kind of like almond roca. So when I was younger, my mom used to buy almond roca all the time. It's very small. Let's see. Hmm. Is that dark chocolate? It's buttery. Mm -hmm. I like it. Which is unusual <laughs> because he doesn't really like chocolate. I don't get chocolate from here at all. Um, so what is it that you like? The buttery part, I guess. Mm -hmm. To me, yeah, it's very I like it. reminiscent of um, almond roca. That's what it tastes like to me. It's pretty good. It's not bad, but it's very, it's, it's lighter to me than almond roca. Pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. What's next? So up next is this uh, holiday decorating cookie kit. Yes. So, so, of course, I didn't decorate all the cookies, but I did do one. You know, I'm no decorator. There you go. Oh, yeah, actually, that's pretty good. Uh, so, I will say that if you are not into food dyes, if you don't like that artificial stuff, the thing about um, this cookie kit is it comes with three of these. It comes with, you wanna show the other ones? It comes with um, a red one. A green one. Mm -hmm. And a white one. And it doesn't have artificial colors in there. So like the green one, for instance, has the spirulina. Um, the red one has beet powder. Oh. <laughs> I don't like beets. I don't either, but that's what the red one is. And then, so that's just an FYI and a side if you're into that kind of thing. And it came with different uh, little bags of decorations, so. Yeah, it had two bags of sprinkles, and then it also came with. Uh, these little foil strips here, which I think are to hang them. Yeah, there's a little hole in the cookie, which you'll see. And a couple different shapes of cookies. Mm -hmm. So here's. A little gift cookie. That's There's a little hole good. right here. Yeah. Right here. That I think these things go through. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's. Uh, You're gonna break it in half for us. Let's break the cookie. Oops. Is it hard? Let me try and cut the cookie. Okay. Did do a good job, but which, which half? It doesn't like? matter. So I will say I'm. This green icing is kind of, so it's, it's not like a... It's like a lime green. It's like a lime green. It's more like a gel, not an icing. It's, it's not, it doesn't look appealing to me. <laughs> oh, cheer. Let's see how Cheers. it tastes. <laughs> I'll let you taste first. Mm -hmm. How does it taste? I don't taste beet. Well, that's, that's good. <laughs> so... I don't think there's anything special with the cookie or the icing or anything. Um, I would agree with you. I think the icing is very sweet. It is sweet. Um, like really sweet, and the cookie tastes like a like a butter cookie. Would do you? Would you say you know those butter cookies that come in the tin at Christmas? Oh, I wouldn't say it tastes like that. No. No. Taste those are much better than, than this. this. It tastes like um 
like a, a cheap cookie. I don't know how to explain it. It's not anything special. It doesn't taste rich and buttery or anything like that. Well, you know, I said that because, you know, I don't like those cookies in the tin. Yeah, but are they meant to be eaten, though? Because if you're going to use them as decorations. Yeah, they're meant to be eaten. It's a cookie. So if it's hanging on your tree for a couple it, of weeks. You're, you're not gonna... supposed to actually put it on your tree. Then why do you hang? Why would you have this to hang them or whatever? It's it's just part holiday of holiday ornaments. Okay. But I know, but you're not supposed to. Eat. Sorry, I I, I, don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I just eat it. All right. So the next um, few items that we have to have to try are um, some frozen desserts. So I am going to go grab those, and I will be right back. So we're back. These are cheesecake cones, and it says almond Florentines, almond Florentine cones filled with a creamy cheesecake filling. And so I had to open these ahead of time because you actually are supposed to let them come um, to room, well not room temperature, you're supposed to let them thaw out. So they come in a tray that looks like this, and then I pulled out two. It says you can either thaw them in the fridge for 90 minutes, um, or you can thaw them on the cabinet, and so, I thawed them on the cabinet, and as you can see, hopefully, they've kind of started to melt a little bit. And the shell on the top, um, I don't know if it didn't have the shell all the way around, but as you can see, there's just like nuts and stuff. Mm, so it Looks good to me. It, it really does look good. So we're gonna try some. Let's see how it tastes. So. Oops, I think I took too big a taste. That is not a taste. Uh, maybe half. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Cheers. It's good. Mm-hmm. I didn't get any shell. The shell, I don't think. I think the shell melts. Yeah, like it melted. Maybe it's just the coconut, uh, not coconut, sorry. The nuts and whatever. Is that some kind of caramel sauce with the nuts? Mm-hmm. It's very sweet. But it's nice, it's good. I do like it. You do like it? Mm hmm Would you buy it again? I would. So the shell doesn't stay intact like that. And don't think the shell's gonna be crunchy because it's not, it's very soft. I thought the shell was like pastry or something. Like It looked to me like a cannoli. That's mm -hmm. what I was expecting, like a cannoli shell with uh, something in the middle, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's very soft. And then I think we have one last thing. So we have ice cream bonbons. Which I'd never seen those before at Trader Joe's. Uh, well, I'm not sure. I'm a bonbon person, but I'll try. I haven't had a bonbon in a long time. So it comes in a tray. Mm. And you're gonna try a bonbon? Yes. And they're dark chocolate and it says... Oh, it's vanilla with chocolate cookie crust? Yes. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It tastes like dark chocolate. Got that. Well, it's dark chocolate for sure, but it's not, I'm not a huge dark chocolate person, but this is not really bitter, bitter. No, it's not too bad. Mm -mm. It's not bad. It's not bad. I like the cookie crust, but the ice cream is not very creamy. It's. It, it doesn't have a strong flavor. It's supposed to be vanilla ice cream, mm -hmm. ice cream but it's not. Mm -mm. A strong vanilla taste or anything. It's just mild. Mm -hmm. Very mild. And the ice cream isn't like really creamy. It's more like an like an ice milk, if you will. But still good. Yeah, it's still, it's pretty good. I would. Would you buy it again? The yeah. bonbons, because even though you said you're not a bonbon person, even though I'm not a bonbon or a chocolate person, yes. Yeah, I would definitely buy those again. Those are pretty good. All right. But I do like the cheesecake though. Yeah, cheesecake was pretty good. I think that's it, right? Yeah, that should be it. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.